So I've been running my car with the capacitors and that small 4.5 amp hour battery for about a month now and shortly after I installed it I realized that I was going to have to make some changes. I thought I would model what's happening here on a bench because it's easier to see. I'm using a 3 ohm resistor that is connecting the battery in the car to the capacitor bank and to the alternator through it. So when I go and start the vehicle and this battery is charged right now, I have 14.4 volts coming out of the alternator. It would go into the capacitors and this is in parallel. So I have my 3 ohm resistor and you can see that with the charged battery it's drawing a small enough amount of current that I'm very close to my 14.4 volts. So if I were to drive the car longer distances every day, I only have about a five minute drive to and from work, so if I were to have an hour drive every day, there's a good chance that this would be kept up and it wouldn't ever draw any large amount of current. What I'm running into is when the battery gets discharged, which I'll do here, this is my positive from the battery. This is my negative from the battery. And all I'm doing is using the capacitors here is a fast way to discharge it. They're at about 5 volts. So when I connect the battery, it's probably going to get very hot very fast. But I'm drawing down the battery voltage and actually charging up the capacitors just as an easy load. So this would basically be simulating what my car sees after about a week because it's sitting with between the 25 and 30 milliamp draw 24 hours a day when it's not running. So it's slowly discharging this battery but I don't drive it far enough to actually get the charge back into it. And that should be enough of a discharge. So I'm going to put this back, ground from the alternator basically back to the ground of the battery and the meter and connect them back on my 3 ohm resistors and what you can see is I'm actually drawing a half an amp of current and my battery voltage, the, the power going into the battery is only at 13 volts I'm getting too much current going through my resistors and it's causing a voltage drop to the battery which is slowing the charging. What I'm planning on doing to fix that is to add a diode into the system. So I connect the diode and I'm just going to jump it across here so now I have a diode in parallel with the resistors Oop, grab one of the fuse So this is what I'm actually seeing probably after a couple of days of driving. I'm under 13.5 volts with the partially discharged battery when the engine's running. But once I put this diode in, you can see how much higher the voltage jumps. It's going to keep the voltage at my small battery higher and will allow it to charge faster.
Now the one thing about using a diode like this is all diodes have a voltage drop across them. So you want to be careful what diodes you're using if you're going to be trying to use them to charge a battery because the whole issue I'm running into is that when I get a large amount of current that these resistors are dropping the voltage. So if I put in a diode that were to have 1.5 volt drop across it, it isn't going to help anything. If I measure the voltage drop across this diode, can see that it's about 0.4 volts. So without the resistor in there, I shouldn't be a whole lot under 14 volts charging at any given time. So I will put together the harness with the new diode and I am probably going to actually put in a slightly higher resistance value resistor so that it draws a little bit less power when I'm starting the car from the battery just to try to make it last longer that way too and install it in the car and see if it uh, works out well hopefully you found this interesting and thanks for watching